What's going on there, fellow YouTubers? Chris back with you with another awesome video. All right, guys, we're going to solve 14. Now, there's a couple of weird things in here. I'm not even sure what they even are, but there's some things that when you enhance, pop right out. I'm more convinced now that Perseverance was dropped down into another part of this Martian civilization. And I think you'll agree after we get into this. Let's get started. Okay, here it is, Sol 14. You can see Mars Perseverance, Sol 14, left nav cam, camera. Okay, navigation camera or nav cam. And you can see the description right here. It says, NASA's Mars Perseverance rover acquired this image using its onboard left navigation camera or the nav cam. The camera is located high on the rover's mast and aids in driving. This image was acquired on March 5th, 2021, Sol 14 at the local mean solar time of 14.52 and 51 seconds. And of course the image credit goes to NASA JPL Caltech. Now, when you first look at this photo, and we can just do this, once you click on this, I'm going to give you the direct link. You don't have to worry about farting around in any of that. It looks like simple ground. Nothing more, nothing less. But what I want you to have a look at, I'm going to look at way on this other side here, and I'm going to show you there's areas on this side that looks like there's things up on this platform. Get out your magnifiers so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Right here, there almost looks like there's something square right here, and you're going to see a couple of little shapes in here that don't quite look right. But that's not the only thing. Have a look at these blurred areas right here on the right. They're not sand dunes, guys. These are actual blur, purposely blurred areas. This whole area is done this way, right? Now, we can go over to here. Check this out. Look at the blurring in here. Oh, my God. The, you know, they kind of blended to make it look like little wavy or little wispy little sand dunes. They're not. Uh, and this one here, I'm going to show you that in a second. Because after just running the burn tool, I'm going like this, just just randomly, something pops out of this thing, and it does not look natural. Now, I think the thing that caught my eyes, and it probably caught yours right away as soon as I was over on this side, was this object or objects right here. And I'm going to bring this up real close as much as we can right here. Okay. You can see this thing, and I'm going to show you this a lot better because we actually zoomed into this photo. But in Photoshop, we can bring it a lot better for you. Something right here. Look at this. It almost looks like it's kind of almost covered in the ground, but like there's a piece sticking out right there. Well, not sticking out, but you can see it inside this object is a straight piece of whatever that is. Now, even if we were to back up a little bit so we don't have as much of the photo breaking up, you can see that. Again, use your magnifiers. Just pause at any time. Here. The biggest part you'll find is right here. Everything looks fine. Looks just like dirt. No big deal, right? All right. Enough talk. Let's jump into this. Okay, so here's the photo. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Take a look at it around. We'll just look at it around a little bit in here. But check this out. Let's look at the back piece here. Right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to take off the little pukey color so we can have a look. Okay. What could possibly be natural and be shaped like this here? I don't think so. But notice what's next to it. It almost looks like some kind of pipe sticking right out of the ground here. Going like that, and then coming straight down. Right? See that? Now, that's not the only crazy stuff in here, guys. Watch this. Let's jump over to here. This is another thing I was just telling you about right there. And what we're going to do is we're going to go through this and really jump into this because this is cool. Again, we've got this weird object like right here. It's going up like this here. Kind of looks like it's doing this. Kind of looks a little bent there. But anyway, you can see this piece coming straight down underneath here. And again, it looks like it's kind of bent up, like it's been broken apart or buried in this. But whatever that is, okay? All right. Let's get into this main part right here. The, this one right here. Let's get into that. Right here. A little bit more enhanced. You can see this stuff a little bit better. Now, just this alone does not look natural to me at all. Now... Let's just go across the back here a little bit. And I've said this before. We had another photo with this thing here on this, this so-called mountain here, right? Notice how there's like lack of any kind of information all of a sudden right down here. So all of this down here has no information whatsoever. But you can see what looks like the lines here going like this. Going like that. And these weird other shapes coming like this here. A little piece like that. Something going like this here, kind of coming down. I don't know what to make of that, but it doesn't look natural as far as I'm concerned. And again, look at the blurring, guys. Wow. This isn't sand dunes and wispy little dunes. Look at the information been completely redacted out of here. Look at this. All right, so let me put this into 
cyan plate for you guys. I want to show you just how much is really real here and how much is fake. Watch this. Complete trash. Now, let me just back out a little bit. Now, don't get me wrong. This area looks more distorted because it is darker. However, look at this. Go into here. You can see the rocks here. Oh, yeah, they're real. All right here in the foreground. All real. See little bits and pieces of real. The rest of it is complete garbage. This is trash, guys. Absolute trash. You can see bits and pieces, like I said, of this area. Here. Just the little white pieces that they're allowing to stand out. That's it. But look at this. Complete distortion. You can see, like, little bits and pieces of, like, the real photo still here. Guys, most of this photo is jacked up. Complete trash. See that? Really? Even that looks really weird, and I haven't done a thing to this photo yet, other than the first part we started with right here, okay? All right, let's jump back to the original. Now, I'm going to just start enhancing the background, and we're going to start jumping right into this. Now, as we go along this background, it gets more and more crazier. I want you to pay attention to the actual parts that are sitting in this thing, right? Again, we've got something that's hiding right here, and I drew a line, so you can see that right there. See that? It's literally right there. And it's sticking out. They have a knack of taking the color or blending the color. It still leaves the lines, but for some reason, it takes the color or blends the colors, okay? Now, let's go along the background here. And guys, just pause it anywhere you like. You're going to see weird shapes in between there. What you need to do is try to look past this overlay. And what's really behind this overlay is these different shapes, things that are not natural, right? And as we go more to the right, you're going to see exactly what I'm talking about. It looks like platforms, and I can't make out what the heck they are. The point is, one, they're being hidden. Two, they're covering up something that they don't want us to see. Now, as we go along, like I said, now look at the background here on the right-hand side. We're starting to get more and more of these weird shapes, stuff that does not belong in nature. Now, if I do this, you can still see these pieces right here. I just pointed out, but when they're enhanced, they seem to pop a lot more. See that? I'm going to go back and forth to the original. And there they are. Okay, let's keep going. Something right here. Okay. Now, here it comes. Watch this. I'm just going to reveal the whole right side of this right here. Look at this, guys. Look at the shapes that are in here, right? Going like this here. Going up, going down. Just like that on the other side. Nice 90 degree angle. This going across. You can see where it goes back. Guys, what could cause this? What is doing this? This right here. We can see what looks like a raised area going th like this in the back. And whatever these objects are sitting right here. So in other words, they blurred these out so you don't see the real details of these things. But look at them. They're on platforms. How is this natural in any way, shape, or form? Not to mention we have this other like another part of this ground. There's something else in the back here on the right. Look at this. Whatever these things are, it's too smooth compared to the ground out here. Right here on the flat piece, look at that. What? What is going on here? Something is being hidden in there like you would not believe, right? And again, just got to look at the shapes. Now let's jump into this even more. So now I started bringing out the foreground, or at least not the immediate foreground, but the middle ground, we'll call it, right? Check this out. Now I'm going to bring this out a whole lot more in a minute. We have this piece that come out of nowhere. You can see it. It's right here. Going like that. Then it kind of gets mixed up in this other manipulation, right? Watch this. See how it does that? It's right there. Goes like this. Goes like that. And there's a bunch of crap blurred out. You have to pay attention to something right here. Remember I told you you can see bits and pieces in between this actual manipulation. Because what you're going to see is this here. Now I'm going to bring all of these pieces out. These right here. Whatever this is inside here, this is literally going like this and going around. And then going like this in the back. Okay? Check this out. These pieces right here. Notice when I said that these pieces right here... Check out this line, almost not even visible, right? But you have these white pieces. These are the things that are standing out in the picture that they did not cover up. Here's another one, and it's actually nice and clear. Look at this piece right there sticking out. 
There's another white piece right there. It has a black circle, but look at the rest of it. It's been completely censored. Look at the little pieces on top. They're still the same color as the ground, but there's pieces on here. That's what you have to look through. You got to look through the color and see the object, right? Okay, let's keep going. I just ran the dodge tool over these areas, right? If there's anything that's white, it's going to make it pop even more. Now, let's have a better look. Again, this area here. Look at the parts that they did not take out. And then you've got the rest of this garbage right here. But check this out. All right here. Look at this. Look at the small parts, guys. This is a debris field. This is mechanical in nature. These are not, and I repeat, in my opinion, they're not natural. Okay? Let's check out the other side over here. Notice how you can see other pieces, kind of like the other right side of this photo. It looks like landscaping or something's been cut out right here. And all you're seeing is the remnants of this thing. There's something right here. Look at the way it curves around nice and curved like there, nice radius. We got pieces over here doing this like that, coming down. Guys, what is going on here? More stuff. Got these pieces laying right here. Again, we've got the background here. Check this out, guys. What does that? Now, I want you to keep something in mind, too. A lot of people don't realize this. Now, it appears that this ground stops right here. In other words, this might have been all filled in with, like, a shallow water, not so deep. Sometimes in these photos, they make it look like that's it. That's the ground right there. When in actuality, they're putting this there. And these could actually do this. Could actually be taller than this. Now, not in this picture. It appears that these are actually buried or they are very small. One of the two is happening here. Look at the lines again, guys. I'm just going to do this crudely, meaning I'm not going to go through every little detail like you see in the corner here and all this other stuff. But check that out. What that is, I couldn't even begin to tell you. I don't know if this is like pots of something on platforms. I don't even know. But they're not very big. I don't believe it's that far away because if you're standing right here, and this lighter spot right here on the right-hand side, you can literally walk over to these things and check it out. They're not very large. All right, now let's keep going a little bit more. Let's jump all the way down to right here. Now, this is where it gets cooler. Now, let's look at the parts again. Guys, check this stuff out. It's hidden in plain sight. The objects. Pieces. Just look at the small pieces and how they're shaped. Again, see all this centering right here? White pieces. Like I said, look at the edge right here. This thing's doing this. Very, very straight line pieces just laying here. You can see just little bits and pieces of what they covered. But they're there. There's no way that this is natural. Check this out. Let me move it over here a little bit. Right here, you can see something actually doing this. This. It goes back. Looks like it goes across like this here. Okay. And we have, like I said, this is the part that's straight. And you can see another white piece right here. This is where it's been censored to take this stuff out. It's these parts that they did not. The white. That's what you have to keep an eye on. This is so there to fool your eyes. Watch this. All right. Let's keep an eye on this one piece right here. Now I'm going to go back to the raw photo. It's there, guys. It's right there. But... If you back out of here, you'll be none the wiser. Oh, it's just a bunch of rocks just barely peeking out of the ground. Is it? I don't think so. There it is. It's right there. Okay? Now, look at this stuff way here in the back. Check this out. And I'm not doing the whole photo here because it actually goes a little bit more to the left. Where well, you can see these other shapes, like this thing right here. Got, like, this line here. Almost looks like it has corner windows, if you ask me. Look at this right here. And that's what you can see. I'm not saying that's what it is, but look at this. Other little lines popped right here. Check that out. What is that? Look at the shapes that are coming out. It's supposed to be natural here. Now, this is going to be distorted because they're hiding the details. So you can't see every little nook and cranny of whatever these objects may be, but whatever they are, it just doesn't look natural. Now, we may not even know what the hell this stuff even is here. May not even have a clue. But we can determine whether it's natural or not. In my opinion, it's not. Okay. Now, here's this other object I want to show you. This is cool. This is a sand dune, supposedly. 
a wispy sand or whatever. This area right here. If people cannot determine for themselves that this is spot blurring, I really don't know what to tell people. Some people say, oh, no, I don't think that's the truth, man. There's no way. But I want you to see something. Check this out real, real carefully. Something that looks like it's doing this. And I didn't notice this until I just started going like this at the burn tool. Just went like this. Just da -da 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 -da, went around. And then I brought up the shape of this. And then I brought out the actual dodge tool and did the same thing. And this is what happened. This is what I found. Now, I tried to do that to the rest of these. And you can see little white pieces in here. And you can see this piece right here. And what looks like, I don't know. And what I did, guys, I actually did a shape around it. Let's do this. That's what it looks like. There you go. So that's what I'm seeing right there on the ground. You can see that right here. Going like this. And then you can see these what looks like sectional pieces. Couldn't even tell you what this stuff is. It looks mechanical. In my opinion, that's what we're looking at. You can see like a round circle here. What looks like one here. One here. And something down over here. And all I did was, like I said, just took the dodge tool and went like this. Just went around it. Whatever's white is going to pop more. See it? I'm not doing anything else. Just, just waving it over it. That's all I'm doing. And whatever's white will pop out. See these like these background pieces? They're white. When I try to do this to the, to the tanner areas, eh, nothing really shows up. It gets a little lighter. But see how this is a little lighter? It popped it more. So if we see like little bits and pieces in this blur, we can actually pop some of this. Like look at these right here. This area right here. Look at these things, guys. These are parts. Look at it. I'm literally bringing them out right now. Look at There's something right here. They put a blur over it. But look at the little parts sitting right on the ground here. Look at that. Mechanical. Simple as that. I don't care what NASA says. I don't care what anybody says. In my humble opinion, this is what these are. Look at this. Again, anything that's white, let's pop it. And like I said, I'm just going to go like that. And anything, like I said, anything that has a lighter signature is going to pop out more. Hey, look at this. Look at these now in the background. Look at this. I'm just going to go like this. Again, anything that's white is going to pop. Look at this. Look at this piece right here. This is cool. Right here. And what I'm seeing, it looks like it's doing this. Right? Got a piece going like this, and it has a small dot on it. But it looks like there may be something like a double piece of whatever this thing is. See that? Okay. Go like this. Just wave it over it. And you can see this thing pop. There's something right here that's absolutely mechanical or something like that. Guys, no way. This is an absolute debris field. And here it is right here, the finished product right here. Look at the stuff laying around, guys. It's all right there. All of this blur is what you're seeing here is to hide all these bits and pieces. However, it's the little whiter pieces that are the money shot. See this? Those are it. But when you look at these flat rocks, you go, oh, clearly there's a flat rocks. I mean, it just shows it's right there. No, it is not. That's the thing. That's what people need to, to understand. Okay, now I'm going to put this in black and white, and then we're going to go ahead and just shop it up a little bit and check this out. I'm just going to go back over this. Pause it wherever you like it. And I'm going to just go ahead and go from left to right. And you guys can have a look. Well, try not to get the colors to mess with your eyes. We just want you to see the stuff that's actually laying here. And I can see quite a bit of stuff here that clearly is not just natural and natural occurring, right? Again, these are the pieces you need to look out for in photos. Just a little slivers of things sticking out. And in many cases, guys, when they take out the lines to these things, it makes it look like a 2D. Everything's completely flat. And, and clearly, it is not. There's so much in these photos. Oh, my God. Just bits. Again, look at this blur. Take out most of this right here. And all you see is what looks like flat rocks. And clearly, they are not. Look at this thing right here. No way is that natural. They're right there. Just the shapes here on the ground. 
like I said, you just you take away the lines, you take away the depth, you take away the 3D effect, you see nothing more than a 2D, and everything appears nice and flat. And clearly, this is not. I'll go back to the what I believe is the the most revealing part, which is right here. Parts lying all over the ground here. That's what I see. And I think you guys see it too. You may see something different. Then let me know. Yeah, guys, this is no way natural. And check this out. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this real quick. Just look at this stuff, guys, laying around. It's everywhere in this photo. This is junk laying everywhere. You know, here's the thing. They're so slick because they go, look, there's clearly nothing in the foreground. So how can anything be in the background? Well, that doesn't mean anything. I mean, just look at the manipulation. Why is it super bright here in the foreground in the lower right corner compared to everywhere else? It just seems a little odd that they did that. And guys, just his, look at this. Just this alone. What is this right here in the middle of the screen? What is that? In fact, I'll do this. We'll go to the raw photo. And there it is. But again, make everything the same color. Nothing stands out. That's just one of the tricks. And again, here in the background, right there. But whatever this stuff is, it's laying right there, right on the ground. I don't think they're very big, guys, to be truthful with you. It's something right here. You can see right here has a shadow to it, right underneath it. Now, if you were to look at that in a natural photo, what does it look like? Nothing. It looks like flat rocks. But look at the blurring going like this. Burn that away, you end up with this. There's something actually there. It's sticking out of the ground, and it has a shadow under it. This blur is intentional. Some people still refuse to see that, but it's right there. It's in plain sight, but it's hidden, guys. It's as simple as that. You can almost make out some things in here. Again, look at these little pieces. You can see like what looks like little pipes and round pieces and things that are just laying there. This one here was actually pretty cool, too. I don't know if you guys have seen this. In the very beginning, I was looking at this piece here. This is neat because what is triangular like this, going like this, and has this little part in it. But it almost looks like it has this flat piece going like this. And it's kind of holding it up, right? Let's keep going with it. See it? Now we can bring this way up on this section. Let's just bring up the exposure so we can find. And, of course, we have this other pieces here. Guys, look at this. <laughs> Got to love it. Absolutely love it. There you go, guys. Let me bring this back down where it was. Again, quickly, left for right. It's a debris field. It's as simple as that. Just laying right there in front of the rover. Guys, what are we seeing here? In my humble opinion, I'm seeing what looks like another debris field. NASA has taken the Ingenuity as well as the Perseverance rover and dropped it right in another spot of Mars that has ruins of an ancient civilization. And they just decided, hey, there's another area we can go take a look at. Let's do that. If you look at these little fake wispy little dunes, they're nothing of the sort. Spot blurring. And people have to start recognizing what that looks like. And then when you start to bring all this out, you can see like, oh, where they, where they like went around certain areas. But you can see like bits and pieces, like parts, stuff that hasn't been 100% covered up. It's almost like they said, well, if we leave them little pieces from a distance, they'll look like rocks and nobody will question it, right? And they're absolutely spot on. Unless you get into these photos, you'll never see this in a million years. Drop your comments down below. Let me know what you think, guys. Please like and share. Always appreciated. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up so YouTube will share it. Get some more cool stuff coming up, so stay tuned for that. Um, I'm going to try to pop out another moon if I can. I know you guys are all over the moon, and I don't blame you. I'm the same way. Love that stuff. So uh, stay tuned, guys. Anyway, have yourselves a good night, a good morning, and we'll see you guys soon. Peace, guys.